Hello guys, welcome back. In this Jetpack Compose tutorial, we'll learn about state using text field, which is similar to edit text but different. We will create a simple login UI and explore the concept of unidirectional data flow. So without further ado, let's get started. Now let's create here our simple login UI. And in order to do that, we have to create our screen. So we are going to create here a new composable and we are going to call this my screen. And inside this my screen here, we can pass in a column. Now we're going to use this column layout in order to structure our layout. So we have to create a text field. And since we are going to create two text fields, we can create a new composable that is going to hold up all of our text fields so that we can have a reusability of our composable. So let's create here a new composable and we are going to call this my text field. And now let's pass in here default parameters and we can pass in here a label. And now we can create here an outlined text field. And we can pass in here value and here we have to provide a lambda function. Now we can create here a label and this label takes in a lambda. So we can pass in, for example, here a text and this label is going to be similar to a hint which we used in an edit text. So inside here we have to pass that label which we have created and also we can create here the visual transformation. And we have to take this visual transformation, which we have created here in our parameter and pass in the keyboard options. So we can use these values in order to structure our text field differently. So for example, we want to create a place for a password. So we can use these keyboard options. Now this is ready to use. We can come here in our composable and we can call this my text field. And we can pass in here our label. For example, here we can pass here username and we can call this my screen inside here now let's try and run our application and see what's give us now our app is launched let's try and type inside here anything and as you can see right now there is nothing which is changing and this is because the text field does not have a state thus it cannot update itself we have to handle this ourselves let's dive in and see how to create a state and create a state for composable so state is any value that can change over time. For example, a variable in a class or a database. In our case, we want to change a text as a result of user typing. Now let's create a new variable that can hold our state. Now there are different ways which you can use to declare a state. For example, here we have a first way. We can use this the normal way and you can use the remember keyword. And this remember is going to calculate and store this variable during composition time. So when we are initializing this remember function, it's going to be remembered and during recomposition it's going to return the stored value. So right now this is the first way. For example, here we can pass a mutable state and then we can pass a mutable state of, of a string. And this is the first way. And the second way you can use the by and which is a delicate method, which you can use just to access it directly. And you can get the value and the set value. Right now here we have created this and there is another way which you can use to declare. For example here, which we are going to use, we are going to create here a text and we can pass in here a set text. Now, right now here, you can just call the, the text. And inside here, we are going to pass in our set text. Now, let's try and run our application and see how it's going to be. Now our app is launched, let's try and type inside here and see. And as you can see here now, the app is responding and because we have created a state. So let's complete our UI and we can see other states and we can learn about state hosting. Now let's finish up here our UI and we can create here a new text field and we are going to call this password. So inside here, this password, we want to structure this 
in order to have the visual transformation and we can pass in here a password password visual transformation keyboard options in order to structure this to be a password keyboard options now here we are making this to be a, a password keyboard option and we can try to structure this for example here we can pass in the vertical arrangement And also here we can create a button. And now we can try to align this button to the end. So right now here we have created here our, our text fields also. We can try to rerun our application and see the changes we have made. Now our app is launched. As you can see here, we have these two text field and a button. So we want to make this button that if there is nothing inside here to be disabled. And right now, as you can see here, we can just type in and this password, we have transformed this to just a, a blank password. As you can see here, password UI. So let's jump in and we can learn about state hosting so that we can reuse that state in order to disable this button. And okay, you may be wondering what is a state hosting? So state hosting is a pattern of moving state to a composable scholar to make a composable stateless. Now, right now here, our text, this my text field is a state for composable because it's contain it understands that the state now is changing or anything else. So we want to move this state up here. And by making a composable stateless, we can reuse it and we have a single source of truth and we can easily test our composables. So this is the best practice of moving this state upward here. And this pattern where state flows down and events goes up is called a unidirectional data flow. So right now here we have an event. For example, this event originate outside the our application. For example, a user is typing. So this is an event and this event is falling from this my text field and going here to my screen and this my screen is going to bring up bring down the state and give it to this my text field and this is called a unidirectional data flow so we are going to see this also in more details when we use a view model now so in order to make this composable stateless we have to introduce two arguments up here and we are going to call this value and this is going to have a string and also we can add here on value changed. And this one is going to take up a string and return a unit. And as you can see here now, in a place of this, we can use a value and inside here we can use the on value changed. And now we can just remove this state and bring it to the caller here so right now what we are doing here we are creating a stateless composable so inside here our composable now is a stateless and we have performed the state hosting and now for example here we can pass in our text and we can pass in here our text and because we have two text field here so if we use this one it's going to just being using so what is typed in this text field is going to happen in this text field so what we have to do here we have to just duplicate this and we can create here a text another another state for this second composable and right now here we can pass in text text one and we can pass in text text one so right now let's try and rerun our application and see how it's going to be now the app is launched and nothing has changed visually but we have performed the state hosting and right now here we can try to disable this button if there is nothing which has been typed inside here so we can jump inside here and create there is another parameter here is called enabled so we are going to use this state which we have created if text is is not blank and also 
and also if text one is not also blank so it's going to just limit this button if the text is not is not uh, there is no any text inside here and this is because we have created this state upside here so we can reuse this state here to disable this button let's try and relearn our application and see now the app is launched again as you can see here the button is just disabled because we have not just typed in all of these composables so right now if we try to rotate this our app you can see that the data is lost and this is because the remember will be only remembered only when there is a recomposition but if that recomposition is just killed and recreated it's going just to lose all of its data now in order to solve this we can use a view model which is a life cycle aware and not using this remember now so let's hoist our state inside a view model so we are going to create here a view model class and we are going to call this just my view model and it's going to extend the view model and then inside here now we can we can create a, a state so here is the place where we can just initialize our state and we are going to create a text state and this is text state is we are going to use a delicate method here by and we use a mutable state of and then we pass in here inside a string and then we can import here the get and set value and now if you press ctrl q you can see this this mutable class is the single value holder whose reads and write are observed by composable so it's going to observe this by a composable if anything is going to change here inside we are going to reuse it and we are using this by because we don't want to be calling here dot value dot value in just different places so we can duplicate this and create this one we can call this password and right now we can create here our event So we, we are going here to call to call this on text on text changed and it's going to create here a new string and this one is going to be on on password changed. And now here we can update our UI by calling the text and we can initialize this to the new values and the same here we can change this the password and initialize this to a new value so inside here we can just initialize our view model and now we can make this here a, a view model parameter and pass in here my view model and right now here we can just remove this state because we don't need it anymore and let's change this one these values here for example here we can use the view model So now let's try and relearn our application and see what's going to be displayed. So our app is launched and there is nothing which has changed visually. As you can see, it is just similar to the first time. Now let's try and roll it here our device. You can see that there is the data persist configuration changes and this is because we have used the view model. So now we want to click this submit button here and show a snack bar. And let's just do this right now. In order to show 
the snack bar we have to create we have to use a scaffold so a scaffold allows you to implement a ui with the basic material design layout structure so it provides slots for the most common top level material components for example the top up bar the floating action button and showing a snack bar so in order to do that just let's cut this here and we can call the scaffold and we can use this composable so we can pass in a scaffold state so this state is going to be used to launch up the 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 snack bar and now in order to do that we have to create a state and here we have to create a new state and this is the built-in state so we are going to call this a scaffold state and we use a remember remember scaffold state so in order to launch up the snack bar we have to create a curating scope so that we can now let's create here another variable and then we are going to call this scope and we can call this remember curating scope and we can use this scope in order to launch up this snack bar and we can pass in here a, a scaffold state so right now just let's pass in the state down to this composable so we can pass in here scope and this one is going to be curating scope and also we can pass in a scaffold state and inside this scaffold in these two parentheses here we can pass it the uh, my screen and we can pass now the scope and the scaffold state so we want to use this button in order to show the snack bar so right now inside this on click we have to launch the curating scope so we can use the scope and we can launch here and we can call the scaffold state and we can use this snack bar host state and we can show snack bar so inside here as normal we can pass in here a message for example here we can say hello now we can launch here our application because now we have shown our snack bar by using this so let's try and relearn our application and see what's the output okay now let's test if our app is going to show a snack bar let's provide here a name hood lab and provide a password now let's call submit yes as you can see here it has provided the snack bar and then it's going to disappear on time so let's leave it here guys if you find this video helpful please don't forget to provide a like and subscribe see you in the next video thank you